गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट मॉड्यूल वी हैव डन सिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट वन नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन इज स्टेट विच होल नंबर इज ऑन द लेफ्ट ऑफ द अदर नंबर ऑन द नंबर लाइन एंड पुट दिस अप्रोप्रिएट साइन बिटवीन दम यू हैव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू टेल कि विच नंबर इज ऑन द लेफ्ट ऑफ द अदर नंबर ऑन द नंबर लाइन लेट्स टेक वन एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव टू नंबर थ्री एंड एट and you have to tell which number is on the left side of other using number line if you will draw number line so small number will come first 3 4 5 6 7 8 so always small number will come first then big number will come so it is clear that small number will come on the left side of the other number of the big number so similarly in this case 503 is less than 530 so 503 is on the 503 is on the left of the other number and you have to tell uh, you have to put this sign between these numbers So five hundred thirty is greater than five hundred three. So we will put this sign. In this part, similarly method, we will use smaller number is on the left side of other number, which is smaller uh, smaller number. This is ninety eight lakh thirty thousand four hundred fifty. So we will write is on the left side. of the other number now we will put sign this is less than this number now come on the eighth question true false first is zero is the smallest natural number we have discussed about these properties of whole numbers natural number in last module so he is saying zero is the smallest natural number no natural numbers will start with one only zero will not come in natural number so it is false next is 400 is the predecessor of 399 predecessor means uh, minus 1 if we will subtract 1 from 399 then 398 will come it means it is wrong 400 is not the predecessor of 399 next zero is the smallest whole number yes zero is the smallest whole number it is true 600 is the successor of 599 yes in successor we add one if we will add one in this then we will get 600 so it is true all natural numbers are whole numbers yes we will discuss uh, we have discussed about this in last module Yes, all natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers are not natural numbers. He is saying all whole numbers are natural number. No, zero is not natural number, so it is false. Now G part is the predecessor of a two-digit number is never a single-digit number. It is false. Why it is false? He is saying if we have two-digit number, like we uh, I have ten. It is two-digit number. And we uh, have to find a predecessor of this. So it will be nine, and it is a single digit number. He is saying the predecessor of a two digit number is never a single digit number. No, it is false. It will be. Okay. Next is one is the smallest whole number. It is false. Zero is the smallest whole number. The natural number one has no predecessor. Yes, it is true. because one is the smallest natural number theek hai so there is no predecessor of smallest one natural number the whole number one has no predecessor one what is the smallest whole number it is zero so if we will subtract one so zero will come zero is whole number so the whole number one has no predecessor it is false it has okay because 1 minus 1 0 0 is a whole number the whole number 13 lies between 11 and 12 no 
13 will not come between 11 and 12. It is false. The whole number 0 has no predecessor. Yes, it is true because 0 is the smallest whole number. Before 0, there is nothing in whole numbers. The successor of a two-digit number is always a two-digit number. It is false. How? If we take 99, it is two-digit number. We have to find successor of this. So, we will add 1. So, it will be a three-digit number. So, it can be three digit, it can be two digit. He is saying always two digit. No. So, it is false. Now, next topic is properties of whole numbers. There are four properties. First is closer property. In this property, if add any two whole numbers, the result will be a whole number. In multiply also, if we, we will multiply any two whole numbers, the result will be a whole number. So, simple what is closure property? If we will add two whole numbers, the result will be whole number. If we multiply two whole numbers, the result will be whole number. That is closure property. Now, commutative property. In commutative property, if we add any two numbers in any order, the result, so result will be same. Look at here. 4 plus 5, 9. If I will change the order of these two numbers, 5 plus 4, 9, the result will be same. That is commutative property of addition. Now we will talk about commutative property of multiply. Similarly, if we will multiply any two number in any order, if I will change the order, the result will be same. It will be there will be two or more than two numbers also like this. Two plus five plus three. If I will change the order, the result will be same. That is commutative property. Now, next is associative property. In associative property, for example, look at this example. You know board mass rule? We will uh, solve first of all bracket. So, we will solve first of all bracket. Numbers are same. 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. Only uh, brackets are, a uh, number of brackets are changed. In this bracket, there is, there are 2 plus 3. And in this bracket, there are, there is 3 plus 4. Only position of bracket is changed. So, first of all, we will change, uh, we will solve this bracket. 2 plus 3. 5 plus 4. In this, we will solve this first of all. Because this is, uh, these are in bracket. 3 plus 4, 7. 5 plus 4, 9. 2 plus 7, 9. So, result will be same. If numbers are same, only uh, position of bracket is changed there. So, result will be same. That is associative property. Now, come on the distributed property. In there, we will take one more example of multiply also. If I am taking 2 multiply 1 multiply 3. And here. Here also. Position of bracket only change. Numbers are same. First of all we will solve this bracket. 2 and jump. 2 multiply 3 is equal to. We will solve this number. 1 into 3, 3, 2, 3 the 6, 2, 3 the 6. Result will be same. Now last property is distributive property. Its name is distributive. So we will distribute the number. Like we have 7 multiply 8. I am taking small digit number. 
and we have to solve this number using distributive property. There is 7 multiply 803. So we will break this number. 803. Instead of 803, we can write 800 plus 3. Now, what is the meaning of this bracket? It means 7 multiply by 800 also and 7 multiply by 3 also. Both numbers. So we will write it, open this bracket and we will multiply 7 with both numbers. 7 multiply 800 and then this sign will come here. Plus. Then 7 multiply by 3. Multiply it. 5600. 21. So it will be 5621. So this is distributed property. Now exercise 2.2. First question. Find the sum by suitable rearrangement. You have to find sum by changing the order. Why will you change the order? By making question easy. So we will make question easy. How we will change the order? We will not add these first two numbers. We will add this and this. So we will write 837 plus 363 put in bracket plus 208. Because question is saying find the sum by suitable rearrangement. Why we are taking these two numbers? Because when we will add these last digit 7 and 3 it became 10. So use those numbers whose sum will be last uh, some num uh, last numbers will make 10. So 7 plus 3 10. Now we will add these numbers. It will be 1200 plus 208. Now add this. It will be 1408. Now in next part there are 4 questions. Now which 2 numbers we will uh, take first. Now there are 4 numbers. We will check which number will make 10. Last number is 2. 8. 2 plus 8. 10. So we will take these two numbers in one bracket. Now 3 and 7 will make 10. So these two numbers we will take in another bracket. 1962 plus 1538 in one bracket plus 453 plus 647 in another bracket. Now add this. It will be 3500 or it is 1100. It is 4600. In this question, we are using which property? Commutative property. In commutative, uh, commutative property, we did that if we will change the order, answer will come same. If we will add these th these three numbers line wise, so same number will come 1408. Uh, similarly, in this question also, we will add if we will add these four num uh, numbers together, this will come. So we will changing the order. So that is called commutative property.